some pain like on my side like the left side of my stomach uh my lower abdomen and i started getting like it was like punch like a stabbing i'm doing this because that's how it felt like it was like a jab in my side and it was like a sharp pain to another day in the vlog so as you guys saw from today's intro you already know what the exciting surprise is so i am pregnant i know a lot of y'all had already guessed it but officially i'm announcing that i'm pregnant i know i probably been giving y'all hints about being tired and um sleepy and all it in the previous vlogs so that's kind of what's been going on with me if you didn't already figure it out so yes i am pregnant so as on monday i became 14 weeks today is thursday so i just left my appointment my second appointment uh for uh this pregnancy so i'm technically i'm in my second trimester i'm so excited but uh, I'm actually leaving the hospital now, as y'all just saw in the previous clip. Um, I just got my blood, some blood work done, and everything like that. Um, the baby is doing great. Um, uh, they, today I didn't get an ultrasound today. Um, I just got. Um, they just did the fetal monitor, you know, to check the baby's heartbeat, and the baby's heartbeat is perfect. It's currently at 150, as you know. That's. Um, the baby's heartbeat as their fetus and as they keep growing you know it changes but um baby's heartbeat is doing fine it's perfect um so i get my next ultrasound um when i'm between 18 and 20 weeks so that's kind of when i find out the gender of the baby um i probably will be doing the gender reveal i don't know i'm gonna see but we'll see how it works out but i want to go ahead and announce to my YouTube family, my my uh, immediate family, I already knows I'm pregnant. Uh, but I want to go ahead and announce it to you guys. Um, I mean, I can't really hide it too long um, and keep vlogging. So I just want to go ahead and announce it. So that's what's been going on with me. So I'm actually about to head to the house um, so I can get clocked back in and work at 12 o'clock because it is Thursday. So I just worked. I clocked in early today and then I clocked out. Um for a couple of hours to go to my appointment. So I'm about to actually go get me something to eat first and then I'm gonna head back home and clock out. 
Um, Trey is actually not with me. He's with my mom. She came to my house to help me watch Trey because I did not want to drag Trey all the way to my doctor's appointment, y'all. I had to get blood work done and, you know, um, a checkup. So I didn't want to have to drag him all the way to the doctor's office because this would have been, it would have took me an extra hour just, just dealing with Trey. So <laughs> I didn't want to have to have him with me today. So. Uh, let me go because I'm just gonna get some east so I can head back to the house so I can get clocked in by noon. So, y'all, it's like later on in the night, it's like seven o'clock at night. I forgot to pick the camera back up once I got home, uh, but I did clock in and finish working for today. Whew. But just about to start dinner, just doing some simple hot dogs. So I'm simple and easy uh, for us tonight. Trey is asleep. I'm about to wake him up in a little bit because he's been asleep since like five or something. And I'm not trying to let him sleep too late and then he be up all night. Okay, what else I need? I think that's all I need. Okay. Y'all hear noise in the background, y'all. That's my, my, uh, what's call it? Dishwasher. That thing, I don't know what's wrong with that dishwasher. It be, it be smelling randomly. I don't even use it. It just starts smelling randomly. So I'll be having to run it. I run it with like pine soil and soap and get it clean. So that's what I'm doing now. Ooh. Letting this water boil. This is getting hot. So, like I told y'all early in the vlog, I went to the doctor and got my checkup. I did a bunch of blood work, as y'all saw. Um, and they actually got my lab results back today. And my doctor called me, which I expected for them to tell me this. I got low iron. Uh, she was like, your level should be at least at 11. And yours is like a 9 and a half. So they prescribed me some iron pills. Um, I had I've been having low iron since I can remember, which is not a good thing. But um, you know they want to try to get my iron levels up because uh, she said if I don't get my iron levels up, then they're gonna have to do a iron transfu transfusion, whatever that is. So hopefully the medicine that she prescribed works. So they got me doing a 24-hour urine test. So. I have to use this um, for my urine, so I collect my urine and then I put it in this, and then I gotta put it in the ice box. How kind of that's kind of gross, but gotta do it. I had to do it for Trey too, um, just to check my protein levels. So that's why they're doing it. Late. When I had Trey, they did it a little bit later in my pregnancy, but this time they're doing it a little early because I did develop preeclampsia when I had Trey. Um, I, de I developed preeclampsia later in my pregnancy with Trey. I was like 36 weeks when I developed it. But uh, she just want to make sure, you know, I uh, don't develop it again, even though she says it's likely that I will. So, you know, just trying to keep an eye on it. So that's why I'm doing the urine test a little early. But, y'all, yeah, I'm not going to do too much vlogging today because I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. But I figured I'd go ahead and cut the camera back on because I forgot. That I was vlogging earlier today, trying to get used to uh, vlogging again and picking up the camera. So, anyway, I'll probably see y'all sometime tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So, it's like the next day, the next morning, it's 11 o'clock to be exact. Y'all, I just fed Trey, and let me tell y'all. This boy surprises me every, this boy surprises me every week, okay, of how much he can eat. It's like his appetite gets bigger and bigger every week. So, y'all, I fed Trey, um, let me show y'all. I made him, um, one of these, one of these hash brown, pack, one of these hash brown patties. It's like a big, you know, like the one you get from McDonald's made him one of those 
Then I made him one egg. I made him one egg and I threw in some chopped spinach, frozen chopped spinach. Because I've been trying to figure out ways of how to incorporate, um, you know, veggies in his diet. Because this boy, he love, he love potatoes. He love pizza. He love um, chicken nuggets and fries and stuff like that. So, I always try to figure out a way to sneak in veggies. Because he won't just eat them plain by themselves. And so, um, some just told me while I was doing his eggs. Some just told me. Put the spinach in his egg and see if he'll eat it. Baby, Trey sucked that, them eggs up like he was a vacuum. Okay, he ate the entire egg. I did one egg and I added a little milk. You know, you add the milk in there, um, it kind of makes a little bit more than the normal one egg. He ate that entire egg plus the uh, potato patty, plus the, the hash brown. And he acted like he want more, but... I'ma stop because he only be out. He only be trying to eat too much. Um, so I'm just give him some juice. But y'all, I'm just so proud of Trey, y'all. He he just eating um, his his food, and I'm proud of myself for thinking of you know stuff like that. But I just had to share that little victory with y'all because I really I'm trying to I'm trying to do better with him. You know, not just let him eat junk food and you know all the bad stuff and not incorporate what he needs. So. That's why I um he actually out of them, but that's why I um I buy if I can I try to get Pediasure, but if I can't find Pediasure in the store, then I get the uh, Infamil, the toddler um milk. It's the same thing as Pediasure, but it's just made by Infamil. So um yeah, I just try to I just try to give him a well balanced diet. Um, because you know I don't want him growing up being pick a picky eater, even though he kind of is. But I want him to be able to, you know, be able to eat and not be creating bad habits and stuff like that. But anyway, y'all, today is Friday. Not doing much. We're just chilling around the house as always. Um, I just got, like I said, I got done feeding him breakfast. I ate breakfast earlier when I woke up. I'm actually about to eat me some cereal because I'm hungry. Um, because I ate breakfast like about three hours ago and I'm getting a little hungry, so... What I ate wasn't much, but I'm getting hungry. I really, really want to make me some coffee, but I'm not going to do it because I'm trying to limit my caffeine intake. Y'all, y'all know why now. I'm pregnant, so I can be eating out, drinking all that caffeine and eating all that caffeine. Oh, y'all look at my hair. I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to be, um... Braiding my hair back. I blow I blow dried my hair. I was supposed to be braiding my hair back and putting my crochet hair in and I ain't did it. But nevertheless. I may go to a grocery store. Not the grocery store. I may go to Target today. I'ma see how I feel. I really don't want to spend no money, but I know if I go in Target, I'm gonna spend some money. Y'all know. If I go into Target, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend some money. And if the camera look a weird, a little bit weird today, y'all, it's because I'm on my phone. My vlog camera is in my office. Um, I need to charge my battery packs, but, um, I like filming on my phone sometimes because, um, it's better quality inside the house because my house is so dark and the camera, the settings, I still don't really know how to work those settings and the, that camera don't film well when it's kind of dark and shady. It's best in daylight and, uh. So, yeah, I'm just logging on my phone for right now while I'm in the house. But I'm going to try to get out the house today. I Well, I definitely have to get out the house today. As y'all saw, I'm doing my 24-hour 24 24 hour urine that my doctor has me doing. So, I have to go turn that into the lab um, today. I stopped, uh, I stopped taking uh, samples of my urine at 12 o'clock. And then I have six hours to go turn in um my urine to the lab so probably about one o'clock um i'll take my lunch and i'll run it up there because you know the hospital is just probably like 10 minutes up the street so i'll take my lunch and then um probably go pick up my medicine as well from the pharmacy and so yeah come back home um but yeah i'm not doing much today y'all i know i keep saying that but just giving y'all a little rundown for today. I'm not doing much, but I probably will try to go to Target a little bit later on tonight. But we'll see. We'll see. I got to figure out what's for dinner, too, as well. Me and Dwayne are trying to do our best. And 
budget properly and not eat out as much and stuff like that. So we we definitely working on that. We not perfect and we you know slip up every now and then, but um, for the most part, you know we've been eating in um, at home and stuff like that. So just little baby steps, just trying to do better, you know. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get back to work. I just paused. I took a little break to feed Trey um, so that he can have breakfast for this morning. Um, so I'm about to go ahead and get back to work. And I'll probably come back when I get on my lunch and head to the lab. Oh. <sighs> Finally then made it to the hospital, y'all. Just to drop this thing off. I can head back to the house. This boy was falling asleep. Was you falling asleep? I was gonna bring my I'm not gonna get the stroller. Just take him out. Get him walk. No, I'm dropping this off. Come here. All right, you're all good to go. Thank you. Easy peasy. Try. Try. He thinks he's such a big boy. Yeah, it's getting hot. Just dropped the urine sample off. Now I'm about to go home. Actually, I think I'm going to put some the Walgreens. I gotta go pick up my prescription. Okay, Trey, hold on. He either getting hungry or sleepy. <sighs> I am so glad. I'm so glad this hospital is up the street from the house. It don't take long at all. Alright, let me cut y'all hair off. Okay, hold on for try. Hold on. Okay. You okay, Char? You okay? <sighs> y'all. Y'all not about to believe what just happened. This man just hit me from the back. Literally coming out of the parking lot of the hospital. And he hit me from the back. Oh my God. Let me show y'all. Oh God. Y'all, I am so annoyed right now. Y'all just saw what happened in the previous clip. And so on the way home, you know, I thought I was okay. I thought I was fine. On the way home, the back of my neck just started burning and really hurting. Like, I don't even, I didn't even feel like we got hit that hard. But, I mean, I guess somehow it happened so fast. I'm assuming my neck jerked when he hit me or whatever. And I didn't realize it. Maybe it was adrenaline. I don't know. But it was like, as soon as. You know, we switched. Well, I didn't switch information, but as soon as I got his information, he pulled off, and then I calmed Trey down and put him in the car, and then I pulled off, and it was like my neck just started hurting and burning in the back, and like it just it just got painful. You know, it wasn't unbearable or nothing like that, but it started to hurt. And it's still hurting right now. Um, I really didn't want to have to go to the emergency room. I thought we was 
<sighs> I thought we was okay, but my mom was like, just go to the emergency room and just make sure and get Trey checked out too. You know, since he can't really talk, you got to make sure he okay. Oh, this, like, put a damper in my day. So, I had to clock out for work. Well, I was already clocked out, but because I was on lunch. I was taking a quick lunch to run up there and take that stuff and come on home. So, I just came home to send an email, you know, to my job. Let them know I can't finish the rest of my shift because this didn't happen. So, um... I'm at home right now waiting for Dwayne to get here. He should be coming through the door in a few minutes. But I asked him, can he come home so he can go with us to the emergency room? Because if they check on both of us out, I don't know, you know, how they're going to do things. And I don't want Trey in the room by himself, you know, while I'm getting checked out or whatever. So I just, you know, I want to make sure somebody is going to be with Trey, you know, while they look checking me out and stuff like that. So... I'm hoping that once we get there, we're not there longer than an hour. Um, <clears throat> just need a check, a checkup, and they check my neck. I, I'm pregnant, so I don't think they can do an x-ray, but I guess we'll find out once we get there. But hopefully it's just a bruise or something. I mean, not even a bruise, but, you know, hopefully it's just soreness. I don't know. But I'm going to just go anyway just to make sure because I don't want to be thinking I'm okay and then... You know, damage start happening further. So, I'm going to just go get checked out and just make sure. But, as soon as I got home, I did go ahead and call the insurance company that, you know, the guy had and put my claim in. So, um, I probably won't hear anything back until probably next week since today is Friday afternoon. Um, yeah, so, I got to wait for a claim specialist to call me back. But, Thank God we okay, but it's just like, y'all, I ain't never just been, well, I mean, I've, I've been in the fender bender before, but, I don't know, it just put a damper in my day, that's all I can say, um, Trey is currently asleep, he was sleepy already, so I was trying to get home and get him to, uh, you know, so, so this is what happened. I don't even think I said what happened. So, we was coming out of the parking lot at the hospital. So, you come out the parking lot at the hospital. It's like a long driveway. And they have two stop signs. So, we get we go past the first stop sign. And I see him in my rearview mirror at the first stop sign. I'm like, and I thought to myself, like, dang, he surely is close to my car. This was at the first stop sign. And you know somebody... Is too close to you when you can't see they drop they license plate. So you know he was too close. So as I go through the first stop sign, I get to the second stop sign. So I was supposed to make a left turn. Um and as I was inching up to make the left turn, um I looked both ways a second time and I saw a car coming from my right. So I I stopped complete and then made a complete stop. Like I wasn't a moving going quick or nothing like i'm trying to so like when i saw the car coming from my right i stopped i was in the process of of about to go so you know how you kind of ease your foot off the brake and you you know about to press the gas so you can go so since i saw the car coming i put my foot back on the brake i hadn't gone yet i was about to go and so um when i saw the car coming from my right I hit put my foot back on the brake and waited till they was passing. So he thought I went and he hit me. He hit my passenger side. Y'all saw he hit my passenger side. Um and when he got out the car. Dang, somebody let help. My neck. When he got out the car, he was like, Oh, I'm sorry. He's like, I I wasn't paying attention. He said, I thought you went. And I'm like, this big old SUV, you thought I went? Like, he really, you could really could have been paying attention if you thought I went. I hadn't even went anywhere yet. I inched up. That's what I did. I took my foot off the brake and inched up to prepare myself to make the left turn. And he thought I went. And so that's when he hit me. So, it's crazy. 
And it sucks that Trey was in the car with me. I'm glad. I thank God, you know, it wasn't worse than it, it could have been. He could have hit me so hard that, you know, I rode out to the middle of the road and the other car could have hit us from the side. You know, some crazy stuff. So, thank God that we are okay. But, that just really put a damper in my day. It really did. I'm just glad my baby okay. I'm checking on him because it really scared him. He, he started bawling, crying as soon as it happened. And so... Yeah, my baby first accident. Oh, God. But, yeah, he okay. But I'm going to still get just have them to look over him, make sure, you know, they don't see nothing. And uh, he sleeps, so I'm just keeping my eye on him and everything like that. <sighs> but hopefully, the wine will be here in the moment so we can hear him go so I can come back home because I'm just not even feeling it no more. I'm not, for real. I'm not. Y'all, we was at the emergency room waiting, I guess, to see the doctor. I, I've already seen the little triage nurse and everything. So, hopefully, we'll be here too long. So, yeah.